Hey everybody, it's InnoVision. And today we're gonna show you how to update your Legion Go 2 with the latest BIOS and driver update. If you're enjoying my how-to guides and handheld related content, be sure to like the video and subscribe. That way you get that notification as soon as a new video comes out. So we're gonna navigate to the Lenovo Legion Go 2 support site and go to this manual update. And we're gonna go under BIOS UEFA and look at that. The BIOS updates here, but it's not showing up in the Legion Space app yet. So if you were to launch Legion Space right now, you'll see there's no updates to be installed. But in reality, they're available on Lenovo's server. So we're going to download this BIOS update. Click on download here. And let's take a look at the details. So this is version 12. Now, my Legion Go shipped with version 11, but I downgraded to version 10 while I was testing something unrelated to this video. And most of the folks in North America, for example, shipped with version 11. And folks in Europe, they're shipped with version 10. While we're in the driver's downloads page, let's go ahead and go back to the GPU section and check for any GPU drivers. So we're still on October 9th here. So we'll check in a little bit. After installing the latest BIOS, we might be able to install a new GPU driver. We'll have to check in the Legion Space app again. But let's go ahead and install that BIOS. So it's already downloaded here and it's gonna be in the downloads folder. And it's this file up here. So we'll click on it. And then we'll click yes to install. And this will take a few minutes. You have to be connected to your power. So let's go ahead and click next, next. Don't power it down. And once it's done, once it's done flashing to my Legion Go 2, We'll take a quick look and see what new features may have been introduced. As the new BIOS is being installed, your Legion Go will reboot and restart several times. The screen will go completely blank like it is here. Have patience. The whole process takes about five to 10 minutes. Once the BIOS is finished updating and your Legion O2 has been flashed with the latest BIOS, you'll be back to your Windows login screen and you'll just log in like normal using your handy dandy fingerprint reader. And I'm going to actually shut down right now and boot into the BIOS so we can take a look and see what might be different. With your Legion Go powered off, hold the volume up or volume plus button, tap the power button and leave your finger on volume up until we'll be greeted with a BIOS menu. Here we are. And so I'm gonna go into BIOS setup. And you can see here, I've got my dual boot set up with Windows and SteamOS. I've got some videos coming down the pipeline to share how to get that running yourself. And so far, this main page you know, looks the same here, nothing different. Let's go under configuration. We've got our date and time. And then under general settings, so far all this looks the same. Nothing's changed under fast boot settings. Under display settings, something interesting has happened. Look how many options we have here. We've got one all the way through 24 gigs. If your Legion Go ship with the V10, you just have a handful of these options. And the V11 BIOS actually has the six gig option. And that's actually my favorite option. Like I said, I downgraded in while working on something else and I wasn't able to find the latest BIOS. So I was really excited to see this come out. So six gigs is the sweet spot for most of the games I like to play. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Power management looks about the same. Performance tuning looks the same. And security looks to be the same. Uh, we've got secure boot disabled because we're booting with SteamOS. And so for the most part, from what I can tell, the main thing that changed here, they've added a ton of VRAM options here. That's awesome. So I, I wonder if there's going to be a driver update to coincide with this. So let's take a quick look and see if there's a driver update in Legion Space. I didn't see one on the downloads page, so there's probably... It's, 
it's a pretty good chance that there's no uh, driver update yet, but maybe it might show up in Legion space. All right, we're back in Windows. Let's log in here. All right, let's take a look at Legion space and see if there's a graphics driver update. So we're going to go under settings, disks and drives, and then check for updates. All right, so there you have it. So far we've got a BIOS update and it adds a slew of new VRAM options. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button, hype it, and subscribe. That way you don't miss all the amazing toys and gaming tips we've got coming down the pipeline.